Today we're going to talk about the difference between enlarging items on your screen locally versus globally. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life, helping you learn how to live your best blind life. Now before we get into the topic of today's video, I want to talk about my large clock here, desktop widget clock. I still get this question all the time I do a video like this where I'm displaying my desktop and this clock is a free widget that you can get. It's called Rain Meter and Rain Meter is actually a program that allows you to put all types of widgets on your desktop here and the one that I chose is this, just this large digital clock. Um, it's so much easier to see this clock up here versus this tiny one down here in the taskbar. So I've got a video showing how to get this clock. I will link that in the description or popping out on the information card right now. Okay, on to today's video. We're gonna talk about the difference between enlarging items on your screen locally versus globally. What that means is enlarging things on the specific screen you're working on right now versus enlarging things everywhere on your system. I still see people talking about this and whenever talking about screen magnification, especially on Windows, they talk about, some, some people will give the suggestion, we'll just hold down the control button and use the wheel on your mouse to make everything larger. Uh, now that is a local adjustment. It's only going to affect what is on the screen currently in certain areas. So that's why I never recommend doing that one. We'll talk about my recommendation here in a minute, but let me give you an example of what that means. So if I am here on my desktop and I just hold down control and I zoom my wheel in, you see that my desktop icons here, my shortcuts and folders and everything, they start to get bigger. If I w scroll down, they get smaller. So that's what people say, mean by just hold down the control button and use the scroll wheel that makes everything larger. And yes and no, it makes all of this larger, but like my clock over here, that's not bigger at all. My taskbar down here at the bottom, none of that's bigger. So it's a local adjustment. It's only affecting the icons on my desktop here. And another example, if I'm in a file explorer here, once again, if I scroll, I can make these bigger and smaller, holding down the control button and using the scroll wheel. That does make it larger and easier to see. Now you'll notice it doesn't change the size of the text. It just affects the pictures, the, the icons. It also doesn't affect anything over here to the left in this column or any of the shortcuts at the top of the file explorer or anything else on the desktop here. It only affects this small section. And probably the most common place that people recommend this is on a website. They say, well, if you can't see the website, use the control button and the mouse wheel to make it larger. And I'll show you, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hold down control and zoom, scroll the wheel up. And yes, it makes it all bigger, but you'll see that it also cuts off the pictures, sometimes it might cut off words. My button is all messed up there. And also it hasn't affected anything up here in the my bookmarks toolbar, my uh, menu toolbar up here. None of that has been affected, it's only the website. So that's why I never recommend doing that type of adjustment because it's only a local adjustment. I recommend using the built-in accessibility for Windows, primarily Windows Magnifier, holding down the Windows button and using the plus on the minus because that is a global adjustment. I am making everything bigger when I do this. I'm making my shortcuts bigger here, my folders, I'm making the text bigger, my taskbar is larger down here, my clock, the clock on my desktop is bigger. Everything is bigger. If I pull up this file explorer, and one thing I would recommend also is actually physically making the window bigger, that's gonna help as well. But now if I zoom in, Everything is bigger. The, the icon is bigger, the picture, uh, the text is bigger, 
this whole all the text over on this side is bigger my little shortcuts up here all of this stuff is bigger easier to see and finally go back into our website here and of course I can make this bigger as well I can make it make the text all bigger it's not distorting any of the text my button is still a button a solid button uh, my bookmarks toolbar up here is nice and big everything is nice and big because I'm making everything big globally so I hope that clears that up uh, yes you can do the control and control button mouse wheel zoom trick but just note that it's only going to make a local area larger. It's not going to make everything larger. I would recommend doing using the Windows magnifier, which makes everything bigger because that's what it's designed to do. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and share it on social media. And as always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.